Are you ready to make a move to Florida? Now, before anyone makes a move from one state to another, there is a lot of planning, research, and preparation that most people make. And generally, people start making a move anywhere from six months to five years before they're doing it. In today's video, we're gonna talk about when is the best time to move, what you need to know when determining a move. In Florida here, what are the best months to buy? When are you gonna get the best deals? When are prices at the lowest? All of those things are gonna be in today's video. So be sure to stick around to the end because I'm gonna share with you what I think is the best time to make a move. First, I'm Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts and my team and I are here to help you. So how do you plan the exact right time to move? Well, the answer to that question is definitely gonna vary greatly depending on your needs, your job, your family, and your finances. What I'm going to show you today definitely outlines the best time to find the most options. Also, when the best pricing and when sellers seem to be the most flexible. Now, if you are selling, this is also incredibly helpful because you need to know your timing and when it all comes to real estate, you need to be prepared. Specifically parts of Florida that do thrive on tourism, second homes, and snowbirds, we tend to have seasons that are different than the rest of the country. Typically throughout the U.S., home sales start to increase in March and April and tend to spike in May and June with the summer months always recording the largest number of closes. Here in Florida, that is different, specifically locally. And again, for any community that has a high number of snowbirds, our peak season is January through April. In January, we begin to see lots of sellers get their homes prepared and put on the market. Now you can see from this chart here that typically February has the largest number of homes on the market in Sarasota and Manatee counties. Now keep in mind, we have to look at history as we all know that the past three years have been less than typical, but we can discuss some of the history and what we see. In 2019 and early 2020, you can see See how this information is reflected and if we went back another five years this is a very common trend sellers put the homes on the market as they know this is when so many people are escaping the cold and wanting to come to florida to find their warm weather haven as homes get sold the number of listings naturally drop and also the average price tends to increase this next chart is very reflective of this. This is just simply supply and demand. And we all know when demand for homes is at the highest, we naturally are gonna see the highest prices. I do wanna take just a second here to discuss a few exceptions. There are times that you're gonna see these statistics and one month the average price might say 575 and the next month it's 675. And you're like, how could that be? Well, in these instances, what we normally see is perhaps perhaps like a large condo building that issues occupancy to all, let's say 100 units, and they're all over a million dollars. That is just normally gonna spike our average sale price and skewing our numbers. Also, sometimes we see very large luxury home sell that are between four and six million. And again, that's gonna skew our average sale price higher. When we see these big jumps in numbers, we need to watch and figure out what has been sold. We can look at the MLS and see what data Data is out there why that number changes another thing to keep in mind is that these numbers are based on the MLS and not all builders and developers put all their sales data out there so we're going to see some swings in number and normally there's an explanation behind that so it's always good to know what the trends are when you're buying when you're buying also if you want more information on the home hunting and being prepared be sure to check out this video after watching this as I said keep watching we're gonna talk about the best time to buy buy a house here in Florida. As we move through the year, the number of closings here is always highest April, May, and sometimes June. Again, this just typically makes sense as it takes about 30 to 40 days for a home to go from being under contract to closing. And this is another key point because here in Florida, it is typical to be able to close within 30 to 40 days. So for my Northerners, New Yorkers, New Jersey, Connecticut, I realize a lot of times it's much longer there. So we really need to prepare if you're selling a home, what that time frame looks like and how we
we can make it all work seamlessly. So from the start to finish of a home hunting, it can look like this. Let's say you've decided that you're ready to buy a home. And whether you're a buyer or a seller, these are things you need to know because you can't just put a home on the market and like hope that it's gonna close in 30 days. Or if you're a buyer, you can't just decide, I wanna buy a home and next week the perfect home is on the market. Sometimes it can take a few months. So again, we need to be prepared. Buyers, you need to have your financing in order. You need to know if your jobs, if schools, all the activities you have planned, how that works with your time frame. And sellers, you have to have your home ready when it hits the market because you get the most showings in the first couple of weeks. I do realize that for many home buyers that are moving from one state to another, you can't just always come to Florida, look at homes and expect to find the perfect home. Sometimes the perfect home comes up three days after you've been here looking for two weeks. The question I often ask is, are you prepared to make an offer after you've left? Are you willing to do virtual showings and are you willing to come back if you find the perfect home? And once you go under contract, closing is another 30 days later, approximately. So the whole home buying process obviously takes a little time and patience. Okay, but when is a good time to buy? Now you can see that inventory tends to decrease as does the average sale price as we get into the summer months. Many years, the months with the lowest average sale price is August. And you wanna know why that is? Well, because Florida is hot and during the summer months, we just have a lot less people looking. And it's not just due to our heat, but it's due to just busier lifestyles for most people during the summer months. People are going on vacation, their weddings, family events. There's so much going on and the thought of moving is a little bit more daunting in those summer months. Also, we do see that families always wanna be settled before the school year begins in August so we see that July definitely is good month for closing if you're moving with a family now another Florida related event that affects home sales and pricing is naturally our extreme weather which is very reflective of 2022 late September of 2022 is when Hurricane Ian hit the Florida West Coast and it also went through most of the state and so at that time obviously naturally we did not see as many buyers looking through October as we got all cleaned up and trying to get back to normal. And that was very reflective in the numbers here in November. So naturally you can see that there's always gonna be some fluctuation, but what is really the best time to buy here in Florida? If I was buying here and my recommendation is, I would look during the summer months, but know that you have to be patient and prepared as there's less homes on the market. And when the right home hits the market, you need to be ready. Also, if summer is not a time you wanna be shopping for a home, completely understand that as there's many more fun things to do. The next best time is October and November as we start to see our inventory grow during these months and there's a lot less competition. Now, if you want more information on, let's say the best neighborhoods to buy in, neighborhoods that hold their value, be sure to watch this video next. And also don't forget to subscribe, like leave comments, let me know what you think is the best time to buy or sell or how can I help? Just leave comments below and thank you so much for watching as always and until next time, take care.